Hey YouTubers, it's Platt. We're back talking about German beer styles and today we're going to talk about the German Marzen or also known as an Oktoberfest style beer. Uh, go over the numbers real quick. The SRMs are going to be between 4 and 15. Our IBUs are going to be 18 to 25. Uh, this particular beer ranges from 5.1 to 6% alcohol by volume and we're going to serve it at between 45 and 50 degrees. Uh, the term Marzen is German for March, which is when these brews were originally brewed in. And then they were, weren't drank until late September, October. That's the Oktoberfest uh, name. These beers tend to be pale to reddish brown in color, excuse me. Um, more toward the reddish brown in on most examples. Uh, pours brilliantly clear has uh, medium carbonation to it. Uh, at five, five to six percent ABV, you're gonna get a mild alcohol feel to this beer. Uh, most Mar Marzins are, have very low hop aroma with them, low to medium hop uh, bitterness. As far as taste, you're gonna get toasty maltiness. This beer has a soft body to it. that produces a short to medium uh, uh, finish. Um, the history of the Marzen is this is a beer that originated in Bavaria around the late 15th century, early 16th century. Uh, in 1533, the Germans produced a law that said beer was only going to be produced or brewed from late September to late April. And so this style was created. They wanted something that could last through that summer season or the non-brewing season and get them to the, the next season. And... Uh, this beer style held up and made it to around October. That's the Oktoberfest name kind of comes comes in. Um, the particular one we're going to try today is the Gordon Beer Schmarzen. Uh, comes around 5.8% alcohol by volume. Uh, it, the first Marzen I had was from Gordon Beer, so that's why I'm using this uh, example. Um, Gordon Beers, if you're unfamiliar, is a national chain of brew pubs. They also have their own line of beers out that you can buy at your local grocery stores, liquor stores, what have you. Uh, they have a brew pub here in Vegas, do a nice little happy hour. So uh, if you get a chance to check out Gordon Beers, try a nice beer, nice, uh, they also have decent food. So uh, let's give this Marzen a try. Oh yeah, we get a decent little head. Uh, nice, yeah, definitely nice reddish hue to that brown. Give her a nose. Oh yeah, nice, nice toasty, some red on the nose. Um, this is a beer with, you, you kept on the nose, some significance, but it's, it's definitely not a heavy beer. Let's give her a taste. Oh, that's nice. Plenty of maltiness. Um, just a slight hint of viscosity, but again, this is not a big beer in any way. Um, definitely, you, know, you pick up some slight darker malts, but uh, it's not malty. It, it's just a beer with slight significance. If you're, you, you know, if you drank a lot of the German Pilsners or the Hefeweizens, this would definitely be a step up as far as body, uh, darker multi punch to it than those style beers. And uh, I can definitely see where once you get into late September or October, things get cooler over there. But this is, this is definitely a beer to, uh, excuse me, this is definitely a beer to kind of step, step up to as far as ABVs and maltiness or whatever. Uh, but nice overall, very drinkable. Um, very approachable. The hops is not there on, on the nose at all. Um, maybe in the finish you'll pick up a little bit of the bitterness, but this is just a real nice, nice multi lager. And, you know, and I say multi, and that's a predominant character, but it's not overly malty. Uh, but not, nice, nice beer. Again, this was. This, to me, I can see why this is a preferred style in the fall. We start getting cooler or what have you. I, I can see where, you know, again, you're leaving behind the Hefeweizens and the Pilsners. 
Um, but overall, very nice. Well, I hope you liked this video. If you did, please subscribe down below. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, you can always leave them in the comment section, or you can hit me up on the Twitter page. Well, until next time, bottoms up.